excited! Outfit of the day! Shirt, blue shorts, sandals, and bag. Outfit of the day! Shirt, blue shorts, sandals, and a bag. Who, who fits it better? Good morning! We're back in Manila. Today, we're going to try out Salcedo uh, Weekend Market. Saturday, it's quarter to ten, and we're off to Makati. So, we're going to have a see what the MRT is like at the weekend, because rush hour, it's too busy, so hopefully it's not like that. Let's go. So, we've just been on the walkway on the way to the metro, and seen this in the distance, which looks like a little walking market. Um, and it's in Pasig, so this could be the new new weekend thing. Let's go and check it out. I'm excited. <laughs> there's a lot of hope in your voice, like. I hope it. it's good. <laughs> I hope it, I hope there's food. It could be it could be a smear traffic stop. Yeah, it could literally be anything. Um, but yeah, let's see. Like a Vietnamese stance, but look at that, it's tiny. I think this is cheesy beef. Mmm, <laughs> it is cheesy beef. Num, num, num. It's like a meatball inside of bread. <laughs> I thought it would be spicy, it's very cheesy. Mm. That was a fun little detour in Pasig weekend market. They had loads of fruit and meat and things. Well, we're on to the main spectacles of Salcedo. Let's go. So we've finally arrived at Salcedo weekend market in Makati. I only open on Saturday, 7 till 2. We're, we've left it a bit late, it's lunchtime. So let's see what tasty foods we can find. In the UK, we fill our tubes with booze, but in the Philippines, they fill it with vinegars. shake. Cheers, it's only 70 pesos, it's pretty good. So in here I've gone for tuna, jaw, jaw, hanger, hanger. I've gone for tuna jaw, hanger, um, which was 250 and then I've got three barbecue pork, which was 100. So let's have, let's eat it. Banana leaf. Banana leaf? Yeah. Oh look, it's banana leaf. Oh. I haven't had pork barbecue in ages, so. Mm. Oh. It's so tender. <laughs> Sometimes you get it when it's a bit chewy, which I quite like because then it's like a different experience because it's really tender and soft. Very nice. And this is the tuna jaw. Nice big bone. Nice. Very nice. Has it got a sauce on or is it just barbecue? Yeah, we did have sauce, but I don't really know how to do it without a table. I like <laughs> I also got a book of pandan which is my favourite drink from, which is my favourite drink from food markets, I think. And 
basically, because I'm basic, I've gone for a burger. They look very tasty. I've gone for a half pounder. Half pounder? Yeah. Mm. I didn't even know they did that. Mmm. And it, ah, well, it was supposed to have an egg in. It was never going to come with an egg. I did ask for an egg. Oh, I'm sure I saw someone cooking an egg. But it didn't get put on my burger anyway. <laughs> someone else has got the egg. Oh, well. You live and learn, don't you? <laughs> I think some places you just learn not to ask for extras. Yeah. It has got an egg, it was hiding. But it's not a runny egg though. That looks quite nice still. Tastes nice? Yeah, it just tastes really nice. Meat's nice? Yeah. Also, I don't know, again, maybe I haven't found it yet. I'm not sure if there's cheese inside. I thought it came with cheese, obviously it doesn't. Is there bacon in there? There is bacon in there. And also one bit of cucumber. Who knew? So we're back, another day going to a market, a Sunday market, we're heading, I, sorry, I'm heading to the Gatsby market in Makati again, following on from the market we went to yesterday, and as you can see, there's no little person with me today, so it's a bit of a challenge, <laughs> can I work out how to use the MRT on my own, and well, what might happen, <laughs> what mischief can I get up to? It's a bit grisly today. Oh, that's closed. So I'm going to have to walk the long way. <laughs> so what mischief am I going to get up to today without Leica holding my hand? So let's go. I just missed the train, which is very annoying. But hopefully there'll be another one too. I think tourists sleep on the MRT a little bit. Oh. It's cheap and it's good aircon, but it always seems to be a problem with the turnstile at the end, the ticket gate. And yes, I had to ask a man with a shotgun to let me through. It looked a bit suspicious, but he got me through anyway. Uh, but let's go on to the Gatsby. So the Gatsby market on Sunday in Makati has food and hopefully food to buy, hot food and for me to eat. Um, but it's also got a flea market. So let's see if I can find a present for Leica. I could smell the barbecue, come around the corner, and now I can seize it. I can see the smoke of the barbecue. just popped through the Gatsby food market. Fortunately, there was only one of me today because I could have eaten everything there. Um, there was lots of foods, um, not that many Filipino stuff, more like international things, like lots of curries. Um, and I went for a falafel pit bread thing, which was gorgeous. I was worried it was gonna be a bit too spicy for me, but it was fine. And it wasn't a flea market at all. There was some really, really nice stuff there. I was expecting, uh, well, junk when you hear flea market, but I got like a, a cute little face mask that was woven because we keep seeing all this lovely weaving in the Philippines but we never combine it because we can't fit it in our backpack so hopefully she likes it and then I had to get myself an almond croissant and now what I might do is because I'm in Makati is go get myself a nice coffee because there's lots of nice coffees here so hopefully that's been a good tour of the Sunday markets in Makati they're both pretty cool they're not really typical Filipino markets though there's definitely sort of better examples of where to get Filipino food and food. What do I mean by that? Stuff you can eat there and stuff you can buy and take home. Um, let's check, check them out. Bit, bit more expensive as well, but quite fun to see what's on offer. 